Hello, today I would like to talk again about the RM Italy LA145 VHF linear amplifier. Uh, today I will talk about about um, sorry, I will talk about the HF Vox or the SSB FM mode switch. This type of amplifier does usually not have an external PTT interface, so it does not get a signal from the radio that it should switch from receive to transmit mode. That's why um, they usually implement an HF Vox or HF de detection circuit that uh, detects an HF signal on the antenna input, uh, sorry, the transceiver input, and switches then from re uh, receive to transmit mode. In FM that is easy to do because you have a continuous carrier so once you press the PTT you have a carrier, you release it, the carrier is gone so the HF Vox is um, working as expected. I will show it quickly. I have here set it to uh, 145-500 at 2.5 watts and um, I have connected a dummy load so no antenna um, and the radio, uh, the, sorry, the amplifier is switched to FM mode so when I now press the PTT, you hear loud click, the amplifier is in transmit mode, I release PTT now, amplifier is in receive again. So uh, as I said, continuous carrier, no problem. Um, the problem arises when you are using SSB because you don't have the continuous carrier there. Let me quickly switch back so 144 300 two and a half watts so uh, I have it still set to FM if I press now the PTT nothing happens um, if I switch to SSB still nothing happens uh, so that's because we don't have signal coming from the transceiver because there is no modulation going on and was not talking into the microphone. Um, this FM SSB mode switch does not alter the signal so it's not if you um, if you use an FM signal you can still set it to SSB you just get a little delay before it switches back to receive. Um, on the bigger version of this amplifier the LA250 which has an external PTT, they, they recommend that you leave the switch in FM when using SSB over the PTT because you don't need the delay then because the radio is telling the amplifier over this PTT, external PTT control that it wants to transmit. So um, it's like you have that, that little LED here that is now green. You can No, it's not green because it's not receiving. It's actually turned off. If I turn it on, yeah, so that is when the radio would tell the amplifier, okay, um, I'm, I'm in transmit mode now, so, so you should do it too. Um, but as I said, this amplifier or this type of amplifier does not have this feature. So in order to avoid the relays from um, switching between transmit and receive all the time while you are speaking and probably swallowing the words you are saying, um, they have this uh, switch to add a little delay. I tried to find schematics for this amplifier um, to see how they actually implement it. I only found a schematic for the older model, the KL145, and there the switch toggles a little 33 microfarad um, capacitor and uh, switch it into to the circuit. So I think they use it as a kind of delay delay circuit to um, yeah, uh, delay the switching back to receive. So maybe if you can change the, the capacitor for a bigger value that would take make the delay longer and vice versa but yeah, that would mean you need to open the device and modify it. I, I don't, I'm not gonna uh, do this with mine. There is actually a sticker on the bottom that uh, is destroyed when you open the device so uh, if you do this kind of modification, uh, of course you do it on your own risk. So, but as I said, I'm I'm not gonna do it. I'm okay with the um, 
HF Vox Delay Circuit I. I don't use it that much and it kind of works well enough for me on 2.5 watts of input power. Um, with 1 watt of input power it tends to become a little unstable because the output power is getting really low. I think you need at least 0.5 watts at the input of the amplifier to um, drive it uh, and my signal on 1 watt might drop below depending on how loud I speak. So um, I'm set to 2.5 watts so that would, should not be an issue uh, right now and I will talk a little bit into the microphone and we we'll try to see if we can hear the relays clicking. So I press PTT and nothing should happen but then I start talking. Test, 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 test. So I'm not sure if you could hear it but there was after my last test uh, a little delay until the um, SSB uh, delay kicked in uh, before the, the transceiver, uh, sorry, the amplifier went back to receive. Actually I will demonstrate this on FM because it's a little bit easier to see. So I press PTT now it's in transmit. If I release you will see there's a little delay. Once again. So that is how that works. It's like I don't know half a second second delay. So if you have a pause while speaking the amplifier will switch back to receive and then when you start speaking again on SSB um, probably your first word will get um, cut off a little bit so because it takes some time to detect the HF and then to switch to over to transmit mode and it can only do that when you um, when it detects something when you speak so naturally the input you have is uh, yeah uh, for example if you if you call CQ maybe the C is uh, gonna missing uh, gone missing so the first one and uh, yeah that's that's the downside of having this HF box so if you have an amplifier that has an external PTT control and you're using it for SSB you should definitely use it and switch to FM if it has that um, switch they are like from I think microset they also have a small 100 watt 200 watt VHF amplifiers and they have an external PTT on, uh, on them so um, you switch them to FM so you don't have the, S the additional delay use the PTT and everything is fine as long as you keep the PTT on the mic pressed um, you will keep the amplifier and transmit okay uh, so as the last thing I will switch down to 1 watt and we can try if uh, we will have some switching back and forth let me check what this is okay that should be 1 watt okay so it is set to SSB and I start talking test 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 so there is a little bit of switching back and forth definitely more than on the higher power setting uh, I'll do it once as a comparison test 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 okay so yeah that worked worked better so um, you need to look out for the drive power that it's not dropping too low if you're using SSB because that will then uh, disengage the HF box and you will face this uh, switching back and forth and you're probably not gonna be uh, very well understandable for other stations in that kind of situation so that's something you need to be aware of um, they officially sell this type of amplifier for handheld use for handheld radios uh, which usually have FM so as I said with FM the HF Vox works perfectly fine uh, since you have that continuous carrier so nothing to do there 
but uh, for this kind of FT817, uh, 818, um, or the new ICOM IC705, um, which can use SSB, uh, you need to be aware that uh, you need enough drive power to keep the, SSD, the HF circuit active to not run into the delay issue. Okay, thanks for watching, stay safe, see you next time.